And with that, we have Kelly with some quilts. So if you, oh, there you are. I didn't see you sitting there. Come on up. school and one of the classes I teach is literature and composition 9 the students behind me are going to speak to you this evening about a project that we undertook um, as a teacher you often hope that you can inspire your students with some projects throughout the year that will give credence to your curriculum and I think that this is certainly one of them I would like the students to stand so that I can introduce them all and then they will come up in groups to share their experience with you beginning over here if the students could stand we have Samantha Yuva Kelly Chase Nick Kissel, Mike Rush, Nicole Butchman, Riley Bartlett, Heather Paltinovich, and Cody Gallant. I'd like to begin, we have two classes. We have the morning A period and we have the afternoon G period class. I'd like to call up Kelly Chase and Cody Gallant, who are going to speak to you about the process we undertook in the A period Literature and Composition 9 class. <coughs> Can I get Dr. Susie to bring the lights up a little bit? We started by reading this book sure. called Night John. Could you hold on one second? Yes, sorry. Thanks. <laughs> Dr. Susie, could you just turn the lights up for us, please? Oh, thank you, Mr. Blunt. I'm sorry. No problem, I understand. Undivided attention. <laughs> we started by reading this book called Night John, which is about slavery. And we started writing about slavery and how the Underground Railroad quilts help slavery. And before Night John, we had some background information, so we knew a little bit about slavery before we started reading Night John. And then after that, Mrs. Ferguson came in and did a Harriet Tubman presentation, impersonation, and after that, she showed us her beautiful Underground Railroad quilt, and we were really amazed by it. So Mrs. Jagir told us, would you like to make one? And some of us were unsure about that. <laughs> <laughs> As you can guess. <laughs> but we took on the challenge with a little help. Because we wanted it to be an all charity project, we raised the money by having a bake sale a few days before Thanksgiving. And then we started voting on the colors for each class. This class chose traditional colors of the time period, tans, browns, greens. And then Mrs. Jagir and Mrs. Ferguson bought the fabric. And to help us out, they pre-cut the fabric. So all we were concentrating on was sewing our squares together. And we wouldn't have to concentrate on anything else. And then we, before you do anything, you always want to practice. Because you never know. So we practice on some scraps. And then after that, for about two weeks, broken up periods. Sometimes we can get a little frustrated, so nice to have broken up periods. And we started sewing our individual squares with the help of Mrs. Pullman, an aide in our class, and Mrs. Ferguson, the person that also helped us out through all this project. Um, they helped us assemble the quilts. Sometimes they would cut off extra things. Sometimes they would iron, too. And then someone else who really helped us out through this project is Mrs. Gasman, who is a professional quilter. So she put the pattern, uh, have you seen, oh yeah, there we go. She put the pattern, the swirls right there, like that you can see. That makes it look nice, but also really helps it stay together. So she used a professional machine. That's not hand sewn. <laughs> <laughs> So she used a professional machine to help us put that together. And she donated her services. Like, she would usually charge money, but she was really nice and donated her services. And so now I'm going to turn it over to Cody, and he's going to tell you some. Well, when we first started this project, I really didn't think anyone would do anything because no one had any experience sewing or looking at anything. But at the end, everyone came out pretty good and it's a, together pretty nice. 
So now we're going to give it to Lynn Chase, my mother of the community hospice house in Merrimack, and she's going to speak a little bit about that. We're going to present it. Hi there. Hi, good evening. I'm Lynn Chase, I'm a nurse manager at the community hospice house. It's uh, based in Merrimack, New Hampshire. Part of home health and hospice care. Um, home health and hospice care is a nonprofit agency in their 125th year. Um, so they, they provide care for people in homes, uh, including hospice care um, in nursing homes. We're a freestanding facility, so it's a 10 suite building. So that if um, people don't you know, choose to die at home or it's not manageable at home, it's kind of an alternative to a hospital setting. It's like a home like setting. Um, so we are thrilled. Uh, it's geared for end of life care, so last week's months of life. And uh, we have lots of homey things in there, and this will be an awesome addition uh, to it. I know many people will be thrilled to uh, enjoy it. Thank you. Thank you. It's really unbelievable. It is tremendous. It's beautiful. Now Nick Kissel and Nicole Butchman will be coming up.